Face first is the first face I will be covering after a graffiti writer reached out to me through the YouTube and asked if I'd make a video on them. I've been aware of face first for a while and I've always thought it was an interesting style because it's a character and letter work so at first it left me thinking is it graffiti or is it street art? Now I've decided on graffiti art because it truly is in both worlds and I don't think it's great to be that super rigid in this case. I wanted to make a really decent video about face first because the more time I spent filming the works the more I really enjoyed, especially the women. I adore having women painted on the streets of Bristol because these are our mothers, sisters and wives or girlfriends and the air of equality should fill all of our lungs with respect and understanding for all women. Also every now and then we get to see a cracking pair of tips. Sit back and relax whilst we get into the video. If you're new here, hit that sub and thanks for watching. And if you've already been here for a minute, thank you guys. And don't forget, I'll see you on Wednesday for Peace of the Week. I'll start with his throw ups because they aren't something I focused on when making videos for this channel. But a throw up is usually two or three letters filled in, maybe outlined, and sometimes neither of those things, but a quick way of getting work up for a graffiti writer with lots of repetition. Now what face does I would say is a throw up and I use the examples on screen. A few colours and a medium sized piece in reference to his other work and a piece that has an instant recognisable style, I believe it is his throw up or a logo. A happy and smiley female face and like the rabbits, people who I serve in the pub I work, they always say street art. Maybe because they don't know the term throw up, or maybe because it is just a great character. I mean, come on, just check this lady out. I don't care what anyone says right now. Okay, I'ma say it. Ginger women, you're beautiful too. Oh, anyone that wants to fight me, this fight I'll come into the comment sections right now. As I mentioned earlier about his style, mixing both worlds, it creates a vibrant dynamic. The letters are in places beautifully curvy and so super pleasing to look at which creates the flow and it flows like a river from start to the end and it is potentially one of the most important things when it comes to letters so it's fantastic to see face bring the heavy heavy hammer and i'd be interested to find out what came first whether it's the face or the letters it might be a symbiotic relationship and essentially he met, he, he was doing both and he merged the two but i i i just got this feeling maybe he started with the letters and then he did a face under and then he's seen or he discovered the hair would work perfectly and kind of that's when it kind of the style just become one but what makes me think maybe it was separate and he was just doing both and then merged the two would say this piece here and this piece is huge and I messaged him I speak to him briefly and he was saying about this piece and he said it's been burnt so you can kind of see the burn marks um, I don't know how, or rather I don't know why, but hey man, you know these streets of Bristol man, anything can happen. And to the person that bombed the piece, is that an I or is that the Roman numeral 2? I am looking, I can't quite suss it. If I divide the city into north and south, like they do in the football, using the river Avon as the line, then the majority of the pieces I've collected are in the north, in St. Paul's, St. Werberg's, Eastern and Stokescroft. The piece now is in Eastern and at the M32 spot, which has been frequently hit up by face and definitely the right vibe for the area. The skate spot is quite big and it's got a lot of different areas and different sized walls and textures, so, and it's good to see face do a massive piece on this one here because it's quite a big scale and it does show the real kind of flavour he has when he makes a piece. Take this piece here in the tunnel near Eastern and St. Welburg. While there's a lot of pieces over it, it's still distinct and you still know it's our boy face first. My main social media I use is Instagram and luckily so is his. So don't forget to go and give him a follow, the link is in the description. On his Insta, it links to a site that is currently down, but it was pirated wall art. Now he sprays with someone called Soap quite a bit, and both have PWA in their name, names, which makes me jump to the conclusion PWA stands for pirated wall art, and that's the crew's name. I spoke to him briefly, and from what I can tell, 
they are a super kind and helpful person and I had some questions and I got a lot of answers plus more. It definitely impro improves the video so I don't put out misinformation. I wanted to include the oldest known piece they had but because for me it's all about progression and a story but I had the sinking feeling it's gone because the photo they sent me I couldn't find and I was cycling around St Paul's for a while and the place I think it might be is blanket not even like sprayed in a good way but just completely blanket painted Stunning and fun letter writing on a happy face is a great image to see when walking around the city. Another legend improving our walls and colouring up our gradings. This piece here is in the city centre and like I said, it, to have a piece there is a big vibe and awe inspiring. Keep checking back to the website, I imagine there will be an available link soon and there will be some dope available things to so be sure to go and give it a click and have a look. I look forward to collecting many more pieces by the legend face first too. Thanks for watching. Don't forget every Sunday I'll be uploading a video about another Bristol artist or writer and I should be able to go all the way to the end of the year. So and thanks for watching. Don't forget go and follow face first, go and find some funky work where there's a lot more I need to collect as well. But I hope you enjoyed the video.